what I want to show you here is three ways of tying a box down. One with this um, First World War invented bungee group, which comes in a fixed length, which means it's only good for that length. You have to stretch it as far as you can, which is inherently dangerous, and then hook it around while you're trying to fix down. You can see it's crushed the box. If you don't want to use bungee cords, bungee ropes, shock cords or rocky straps, depending where you are, that's what they're called. All the same thing, you can use a ratchet strap. The ratchet straps are okay. If what you want um, is a very, to strap down, is a very strong box, which can take being held down very tight because unless it's very tight, this piece of metal will just flap around all the time and work itself loose and damage the box even more. Or damage could be antique furniture. So you've got to make that strap as tight as you can. You're then left, because that's a fixed, same as the bungee cord is fixed, these are fixed lengths, you're left with a load of cord which you've got to do something with. Um, and if it's on a trailer you've got to hope, or a bike rack, you've got to hope it doesn't start flapping around, which you see many times going down the motorways piece of cord just flapping all over the place. Now what I'm going to show you here is the whatnot. Now we've got a length of rope which is too long so I'm going to double it over. So I'm taking a half the length out of it straight away. You then put it through, loop it through. So we've only got half the length of rope. We've got two pieces of rope coming over. So you put on the whatnot very simply, very easily. And then put that around what you're tying to and if you were tying a knot you would have to keep tying that knot down here which could be awkward very awkward so what you do and bear in mind what you're seeing here is me using four pieces of rope through the whatnot which you can tie anywhere you then adjust that pull that as tight as you want to and only as tight as you want to lock it off anywhere you want to so where you can reach and I'll just adjust that a little bit more. It's not quite. You can adjust this to the nearest millimeter. So if you're moving glass or antique furniture, that you don't want to, you just want it not to move, but not get damaged. The one knots are perfect. You can see that's now tight. I've hardly got any overlap, even though the rope was way too long. Um, the ratchet strap, yeah, has damaged the box. You've got all the excess strap to deal with, and bungee ropes are just dangerous. When they flick back, just mind out, because they, thousands of people a year lose their eyes and eyesight through <laughs> bungee ropes flicking like that.